Hello and welcome to an amazing Bitcoin technical analysis that I have for you today on this Bitcoin chart in front of you right here. The absolute perfection, the warmth, the love, just the trading vibes that it has given me. I want to cover this in great detail and I also want to explain to you how I am currently trading Bitcoin. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. You should learn a lot and also just be blown away just with how well this has been traded obviously referring to this chart now as my girlfriend. I've married her. She's mine and I've just absolutely destroyed her, let's be honest. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what do we have going on right now? Okay, so before, actually, yeah, so as normal, before I go over what's happening right now, the trade that I'm in at the moment, I want to cover how we got to this point, okay? Since the last update that I gave you all, because it has just been just so, so, so nice indeed. Okay, so let's let's talk off what uh, let's talk through what happened here. Obviously, we, we all know what had been happening with uh, the way we had been moving in this old channel. We moved up and we formed the old high of the channels. Okay, so we went from channel to channel up here, where we were going from low to high to low to high to breakdown to back test, back down to the low of our old channel, low of the old channel. We were going through around this. I think on my last video was here. We were looking to long the low of the channel. We obviously then got that back up to the high of the channel, back down to the low of the channel before breaking that channel, back testing that channel, going through, you know, pretty much like butter through the monthly, coming up to our old channel. Okay, so these these are <laughs> this is funny enough. The I, I've got this like little bit of a meme going on of saying like when I give a when I give a point on the chart, you gotta to react to it because they just give absolutely gold mine trades. So Obviously, the last uh, point I had on th point 13 was along off the bottom of that channel. And have a guess, obviously, how that played out. Absolutely brilliantly. And then yesterday, I gave to my group uh, <laughs> the meme, the, the new one, where we had point 14 yesterday set in stone, which was a short from the CME gap fill, okay? So if you might be wondering, obviously, you know, this, this, the rise went really well indeed. And then why, why did we turn back here? So why did you turn around here? That's obviously the question people want to know. The reason why we turned around here is, yeah, in, in my humble opinion anyway, we had, uh, you know, firstly running into this channel. This channel is resistance. And then on top of that, you have the CME gap fill and C and just futures, okay, across on, you know, Binance, uh, BitMEX, also trading above 10,000, okay? So trading above 10,000 is a really big liquidity region in, my, in the way that I trade. That's a really big liquidity level, okay? And we saw the CME trading above it. And then we also saw the CME gap fill. Uh, funnily enough, as soon as we had that gap down, I was interested in, in the gap. And then uh, obviously what we had last night, um, well, actually, no, yesterday morning uh, time, we obviously come up and we filled that gap, uh, which was lovely to see. I, I like to see the gaps filled, to be honest. Uh, and it just adds another layer of confluence. So I'm not a trader that's just going to trade off of a gap. You know, I use um, more t other technical analysis, more, more advanced per se, like the gaps may or may not get filled. It's not like a 100% requirement that they have to get filled, but it was another, you know, another lead that when we dropped down here, obviously when I was looking for those longs off of point 13, that this was a, another thing that I had on my mind. And then to, when we got the gap fill on 14, we obviously had the confluence at this region for the short on top of filling those gaps. So that was obviously really, really nice uh, that we filled those gaps. And in, in my opinion, that's the reason why we got those highs, okay? That was where we got those highs in. So then the last few big trades for me was obviously long from the bottom of the channel. And we obviously went through this like pretty quickly. And if you go back through my tweets, you'll have seen what I was saying at this monthly region. We had a really, really bullish looking chart. I'll try and find it for you very quickly. Basically, we had a really, really, uh, basically the footprint chart was just looking extremely bullish. I'll try and find it. Yeah, this was my comment, obviously in the champions group, what I was saying at the time, like, and you just need to look at some of the statistics that you're getting on this breakout, okay? So one has to say, um, there's a there's a likelihood that we get bullish continuation up to our next level, okay? And that's just, this is because, well, simply listed what I was li like listing here, you're seeing very aggressive longs. And obviously, that is what you need to see on breakups, okay? You don't want to see the opposite of that occurring on a breakup because it's more likely to be a fake out. So I was very comfortable holding on to my longs here, expecting us to get another push upwards because of the fact we were seeing great strength, okay? And obviously, we did get that great strength through this level in the end uh, and, you know, topping out there at the CME gap. OK, and obviously I was shorting at these CME gaps, as you can see here on, you know, if we zoom in a little bit, we obviously hit the middle of our channel slash CME gap fill at 10K. We drop down below the channel and then we try and attempt to claim it, but never really get back in it. OK, one candle above straight back down below and a lot of wicks, wicks, wicks above straight back down below fall off during the night. And this is where I just want to absolutely say, this was like a brilliant trade, absolutely brilliant trade. This one, 
um, where we fell down to. Okay, so I had a few take profits on this. Okay, so I didn't just have one take profit sort of thing. But from my shorts up here, I actually had four take profits. Uh, I had uh, two take profits that were hit fairly swiftly. And then I was looking at 9,500. And then I was looking at the monthly slash the liquidity um, of, this, of this block that we had in here. So those were my four take profits on, on the short. And then I managed to fill, and this is like absolutely mind blowing, outstanding, if I do say so myself, the long that got filled on the lows, I held up the market to the exact cent. And on Binance, this is a Binance trade, you do not even trade in dollars or 50 cent increments. It's literally to the exact cent, to $9,256.12. That was my orders. That was the order. And you can see how the exact low, the exact low over on Binance was literally, um, yeah, that low, if you see on the top left here, literally $9,256.12. I managed to long the exact low of that one. That's mind-blowingly accurate and just absolutely crazy. That's how you trade like a champion. So now I've taught you through like how we got to this stage. You know, I think I've done that in good detail explaining to you how we got, got to this stage because you have to you know use this video as inspiration use this video as education this is free material that i'm giving you right here like study this you can you can definitely learn from it so um you know that's how we got to this point so now what's going on right now okay so currently i am in a uh you know more of a sculpt trade short and again, if you want these sort of real time updates, then this is all of, this is what I give in the chart champions group, you know, originally giving those longs at the bottom of the channel, giving that, you know, explaining those shorts I was taking and, uh, you know, explaining then this new one that I took uh, this morning from a short, which is from 9,700. As you can see, I've already hit some take profits on this short, but nevertheless, I've still got some of it open. So, um, uh, basically, yeah, what, what the reason why I was taking this one is because this was a local point of control. So we come back into the local point of control rejected. And, you know, we got we got, a you know, $150 rejection from that. So it's a, it's a decent trade. I've still got some of that open. You can see other people, um, you know, also taking that trade in the group there. But yeah, nevertheless, like that, that's what we're left with now. So basically, uh, there's a few key levels that I'll, I will, um, you know, make you aware of. Although you can probably see from this chart that it's just appreciate this. It's so nice. It's just so, so, so nice. Uh, as you can see from... This old channel is, is clearly still in play. And, and um, you know, the likelihood is that over the weekend, okay, you have to envision the, the weekend is generally low volume, okay? So you can get moves, but big moves that occur on the weekend because it requires less volume to push the markets, okay? So the books are really thin. Thin books means less capital required to push price up and down. So you always have that possibility on a weekend. Obviously, you've got the CME gap, you know, CME markets just closed, period. Um, so, you know, a lot of the institutional traders are not in the game and also just generally traders are, you know, in my, in my, the way that I trade anyway, I generally take weekends off. So I'm not I'm not like actively trading weekends, generally speaking. I will if there's volatility, but I'm not I'm not generally looking to trade on a weekend. So you have a lot less capital in the game, obviously. And so you have some, you know, the key levels here of obviously our channel low remains, the channel high, the weekly above you. And then still monthly, you can see the monthly was a key level in that drop. You know, you wouldn't have got, you wouldn't have done bad taking profits or longing off of that. And uh, then you come back down to your channel lows around 9K. So you have this like quite a big range. If we're honest, there's quite a big range here. Anywhere really from 9,000 to around 10,200 sort of thing. So you have a, a large range going into the weekend here. This is obviously great if you are a day trader or, or a, a volatility trader. This is absolutely amazing that you can make a lot of money off of these small moves. But for more of a swing trader's perspective, one would say if, if you're looking at this as a range high and this is a range low, let's say, then you're in the middle of that range right now. So one has to ask, is this a good trade for a swing trader? If you're in the middle of the range, one would say no. You either want to take positions at the high of the range or the low of the range. And generally speaking, the middle of the range is not a good place to enter a swing trade. OK, so that's just a tip that I would say that you don't really want to be taking trades off of the middle of the range. You want the highest probabilities possible. OK, and that's when you're at the low of the range or when you're at the high of the range. OK. So that's really simply a tip that I'll give you there. Uh, you know, the way that I'm trading this is obviously I haven't closed out all of my long that I, that I managed to literally scalp from the exact low there, which was just absolutely crazy. Uh, so I haven't closed out all of that one yet. But on, from a day trader's like sculpt, sculpt perspective, I am in that short at the moment. But in my opinion, we have ran quite a lot of the lows here. You know, we have ran this major liquidity region. So that, in my opinion, is sort of mid mid term. I, I would lean slightly towards upside here. OK. If, if I'm totally honest, I would like to see some some higher levels challenged. Um, 
but yeah, from a from a from a swing trader, you know, from a day trader's sort of scope perspective, I'm in that short, and you know, I would like to see a little bit of a lower level retested before we, you know, this is the thing in trading okay you do want to wait for reactions off a level so it's not like at the moment i can say right we're definitely going up we're definitely going down what i like to see is like the supply and demand aspects so the way that i like to base a lot of trades is wait for the retracement okay so wait for a retracement to occur because they, they always come and then you have to look in the action and see what is the demand like at this level okay and obviously you can look at this from you know footprint charts for example and we'll be looking for the demand at a level. If there's no demand, well, then clearly I expect price to drop down lower. But if a lot of demand suddenly comes in, okay, and it outweighs supply, then clearly I would expect that to cause a reaction and prices to come, you know, higher. <laughs> so, um, you know, those are some key statistics I like to look at. But, um, you know, as we sit in the middle of the range, it's hard to gauge uh, the demand because we haven't had a, a, a sufficient retracement off of this last move up, in my opinion, anyway. That's why I'm trading that sculpt short at the moment, just because I'd like to see the reactions off of the supply. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's kind of my perspective. That's how I've been trading this. Um, yeah, I guess I'll end with some like really, really lovely news. Uh, you know, these sort of messages I receive. I know I just want to end on a real big positive and just, you know, just absolutely crazy. And I just want to use this as inspiration. Use this as just a positive message of what you can really get when you put in the time trading. Because, um, you know, pause the screen and read through these because they're just absolutely brilliant. We obviously have, uh, these are some DMs that I receive from members. You know, people literally doubling accounts in the space of a few weeks you know it just emphasizes really really strongly that if you put in the time okay if you really put in the time and you study hard then you literally can make just un unreal amount of wealth from this market as well as just the satisfaction that you get from trading um you know th th this one absolutely just shone out to me you know this this guy literally paying for his daughter's college funds uh from from cryptocurrency trading you know it's just mind-blowing and personally you know i just feel so blessed to be able to help you all and it's, it's for me like yeah no i absolutely make love making <laughs> making money off of trading absolutely don't get me wrong you know taking these moves trading these charts like this as you you know i'm not even going to say what i feel about it just absolutely perfection just absolutely love it but then you know there's a greater satisfaction for me now reading things like this reading that i'm changing people's lives reading that um you know they're, they're really understanding the theories that i'm teaching them and then in turn literally changing their lives and the lives of their family from that that for me provides a much greater satisfaction than literally <laughs> than literally timing that low to the absolute cent yesterday or actually this morning you know literally timing that again that is just absolutely crazy perfection but um you know these these type of messages you know seeing people put in the work learning and then you know you know anyway that 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 for me just provides absolutely brilliant satisfaction to know that i am helping people like that so um you know a really positive message to end here of just saying you know from from my from me to you thank you so much for all the support that you always give me it's absolutely mind-blowing and, and brilliant and then also, a congratulations to yourselves. You know, if you are putting in the time, if you are learning and you are actually moving forwards, you know, you're actually making an active commitment to change your life for the better, then, you know, hats off to you, you know, well done. So uh, congratulations on all those people that DM me and this uh, like public message. It's just mind blowing, you know, full respects to you all. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And there's the range that I'm trading at the moment. And what a what a range it really has been, you know, my, now officially my wife. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been brilliant. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this one. I guess I'll end with if, if you do want these real time updates of when I'm actually taking a trade, the reasonings why I'm taking the trade, you know, there's obviously you have the benefits of, of knowing when I'm taking the trade, but then the, the crucial understanding of why I'm taking the trades when I'm taking them, you know, if you want that sort those sort of updates, uh, then obviously you can come across to I think you can see this now chartchampions.com uh, and you know sign up for champion membership where you know I'll be more than happy to assist you change your lives like many of the champions have already. So it's been brilliant. What a journey it's been, and you know uh, be by 2020. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good day, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sign off with leaving you with this chart because it's just been a very nice technical analysis. Um, so yeah. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the trades that are going to be coming this weekend, expecting some volatility. And uh, yeah, that's me signing off. Cheers. Have a good one. Bye.